give some respect to a man of truth, Mr. David Icke. Yes! David, David. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. to think that people used to laugh at me in the street. Yes! Speak your truth and the world comes to you. Oh, yes. Whoa! What a sight! I have dreamed of moments like this so many times and despaired here and there that they would ever come and here it is humanity awakens share to say that guys no it's not the majority yet nor even nearly so but the momentum has begun and the spirit of this place must sweep across the world if we are to stop Orwell's boot stamping on the human face forever. We face a big, big challenge and it will require enormous unquenchable determination and fortitude but we will not crumble we will not fail the consequences for ourselves our children and the human family are unthinkable we cannot fail we have come here today to put on public display our individual and collective self-respect. Self-respect is that which has broken every tyranny in human history. For self-respect always triggers the power of no! We will not hand control of our lives and our children's lives to people like the UK Health Secretary Matt Hancock. A man who, if his brains were gunpowder, they would not blow his hat off. Oh, oh, my brain's about to explode. Here he goes. <laughs> Hancock and Johnson, Witty and Valance, Fauci and Bucks. The fascist Daniel Andrews Premier of Victoria or what my brother Paul calls 40 waters. The light may be on but it ain't very bright. Where is the self-respect in giving our lives to such people and doing whatever they tell us? Enough! No more. And we okay, thanks for that. are together in the most amazing way today because we don't need to pick sides 
We don't need to fight. We don't need any more division and conflict. We just need to come together, put down the irrelevant fault lines that divide us, and join together as we are today in a demand for freedom for the entire human family, not one excluded. Before us today is every race, every color, every creed, culture and sexuality. We may not agree on the fine detail of life, but that's good. What a boring world it would be if we did. But we are united, putting down the fault lines of irrelevant labels to say we are freedom and we'll accept nothing less. And I say, and I say to the police officers here and around the country, around the world, I feel no animosity to you. You are trapped by the psychopaths into enforcing fascism for the psychopaths. Fascism that your children, your families, and you will have to live the rest of their lives within. Yep. But there is another choice. Police officers, military personnel of the world. And that is to cease to enforce fascism for the psychopaths and two, and to instead enforce freedom by protecting the people from psychopaths. We stand amidst extraordinary almost unimaginable deceit. A deceit that includes a fake test producing fake cases to produce fake excuses for real fascism. A test which its inventor said should not be used for what it is being used for. A deceit that includes the mandatory wearing of masks on the excuse of its protection of our health when it is going to destroy the health of vast numbers of people with suppression of oxygen, breathing in carbon dioxide, bacteria, mold in the mask. The very opposite of what they claim. And what will they say when that starts to unfold? People are dying or suffering from COVID-19. Mask 19, more like it. And the mask is there to be a symbol of oppression, of submission, a symbol of being silenced, a symbol of the destruction, deletion of individuality and an exercise in mass global dehumanization. People of the world, if you want to express your freedom in the face of fascism, take your bloody mask off! Yeah. 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 
Freedom! And the deceit is so premeditated, so long planned, so calculated, so cold and so callous, that we must not rest until those responsible, including those down the street, until those responsible are before a Nuremberg type trial for crimes against humanity. What is happening in current events is only possible because of a long planned, long in the unfolding war on the human psyche. And the foundation of that war is to persuade billions of people that they are just little me with no power. For the psychopaths know that a little me mentality, a little me self-identity will by cause and effect lead individually and collectively to a little me life experience. So, number one in building the new today and the new tomorrow. No more little me be gone with you. We are unique expressions of all that is, has been and ever can be having a brief experience called human. People, human family across the world, awaken to who you really are. Remember, remember who you really are. And it's not what they have been telling you. The late, great American comedian, Bill Hicks, said this, all matter is merely energy condensed to a slow vibration. We're all one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively. There's no such thing as death. Life is only a dream. And we are the imagination of ourselves. And what the human family has done is allow the psychopaths to hijack our imagination of ourselves. And we need to take it back. The psychopaths have kept from us a sparkling, sparkling truth which opens all doors and all gateways that this world is but a dream and the dream is the dreamer and the dreamer is the dream. They are indivisible. What we believe, we perceive. And what we perceive, we experience. And it's time to take our minds back from the psychopaths. Take our perceptions back from them. And to dream another dream. A dream 
in which the few controlling the many plays no part. Bill Hicks used to finish his shows like this. The world is like a ride in an amusement park. And when you go on it, you think it's real because that's how powerful our minds are. The ride goes up and down, round and round. It has thrills and chills. And it's very brightly colored and it's very loud and it's fun for a while. Some have been on the ride for a long time and they begin to question, is this real or is this just a ride? And others have come back to us and they say, hey, don't Thanks, be sorry, afraid man. ever, because this is just a ride. And we kill those people. Shut him up, I've got a lot invested in this ride. Shut him up. Look at my furrows of worry and my big bank account and my family. This has to be real. It's just a ride. But we always kill those good guys that try to tell us that and let the demons run amok. But it doesn't matter because it's just a ride and we can change it anytime we want. No job, no savings of money. Just a choice right now between fear and love. And that is all it is, all it has ever been. Fear, the currency of control, says I freeze, I obey, I submit. Love says I am free! Love says, cries, freedom! freedom! And what love brings is a backbone of steel and the power of no. No, I will not cooperate with our own enslavement and there are billions of us and a handful of you. When we wake up to that, the game is over. Who are we, little me? No, no, no. We are the power in everyone. We are the dance of the moon and the sun. We are the truth that will never hide. We are the turning of the tide. Thank you very much. David, David. Let's hear it for David There are certain leaders in this world. I would like to say that David is a leader of inspiration.